What's going on YouTube? Hit it back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as Icon to BTC. We'll also be looking at the current coin market cap, as well as getting another general overview of what's going on within cryptocurrency, specifically Litecoin and the other blue chip cryptocurrencies. As you know, I made a video yesterday saying that there is a warning. What's going on with Litecoin? Are we in trouble? You know, what the heck is happening and you know where are we going to be heading in the next couple of weeks so i want to continue off of that from what i said yesterday into today's video to see what exactly could be happening in in the market overall so i have yet to look at the coins for today uh this is the first look you're going to be experiencing this with me this is the first look and i want to share as open this is not scripted this is like as transparent as it can get so let's jump right into today's episode like i said if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up and let's go. So as you guys can see, we are on the current coin market cap. The market cap is 316 billion, 24 hour volume is 108 billion and Bitcoin dominance is 65.5. So Bitcoin dominance has stayed the same. That's one thing we see. 24 hour volume at 108. So yesterday we were at 99 billion. Now we're at 108. So about 10 billion has been added to the current overall uh, volume. The next thing to point out is the fact that the market cap is 316.5 billion. So we are seeing uh, money leave the exchanges. We're seeing a lot of money leave the exchanges. And you'll notice when I scroll down, market is bloody red. So this is something very interesting to point out. <coughs> you can see that we are down in double digits all across the board. And with no surprise uh, is this happening. And what I mean by that is the past couple of days we've been talking about no volume is in the market. And we've been saying that when no volume is in the market, this means that there is potential for either a big you know, burst to the upside, a bullish move, or a big retracement to the downside, a bearish move. As you can see, this pretty much justified our answer, and this was a bearish move. We are down double digits all across the board. The top 10 cryptos are all down 10 to 15 to 20%, absolutely wild. Litecoin, although is now pumping a little bit higher, it seems to be in the number four spot over Bitcoin Cash, which is always a good thing. But you'll notice what I was referring to. Here you can see beautifully with Litecoin, no volume, and then we're experiencing the dip. No volume, dip, no volume, dip. It's happening in all these currencies where we're seeing no volume at all, then we're just consolidating downwards. That's what's happening. You can see it's all over the market. The market is down, I wanna say 15% today, which is quite a big downhole compared to you know the past couple of days. Uh, there are these altcoins that do act inversely, Bazant being one of them, up 35%. Uh, some people like to find coins to switch their money over into to, you know, uh, negate the effects of the retracement. But for the most part, the market is all in all retracing. Now, I do just want to look at these currencies because I do think it is quite dramatic and quite interesting. So yesterday I was saying this was about the lowest we were going to go. And it seems like we still are. Uh, you know, within what I said, I understand we did go lower, but the price immediately retraced right back up to here. Now, it, it makes perfect sense to me as to where these levels of uh, uh, coin retracement happen. You can see, like, if we got rid of these high, low, middle moving averages, you wouldn't know where the price could fall to. But as soon as we add here, you can see how it's reacting with this high, low, middle moving average. We're on Litecoin to US dollar on Coinbase, and you can see beautifully that the price yesterday we knew tested uh, the top of the high low MMA, the green band at 103, and then it retraced back up. Today is a different story. We fell all the way down to $94, which I'm sure a lot of you guys were very unaware of that that could happen. And then we retraced right back up to where this green band is. And now we're kind of hanging out here. So we'll see where today closes. We're really looking to see where today's candle will close. Either we're going to retrace back up, close above here, or we're going to consolidate lower down. I'd be very shocked if we do so. We're almost near oversold. So, And we probably were oversold when we were at this red band. So I think this is about the lowest we're going to go. And there's a lot of you know resistance and drama here. I did say in yesterday's video that Charlie Lee was saying that we could have seen the high already as we lead into the halving and you can see that is probably right at around 140 so dollars maybe 143 and now we're starting to see this consolidation now what's interesting is theoretically we did break bearish from this ascending triangle you can see right here and i've always said it that ascending triangles break bearish we don't have to actually break all the way 
at this point up here, but it does have a big effect, you know, in the last spots of the ascending triangle, which you can see right there, this is where we start to get a lot of that downwards and upwards pressure. And the fact that we saw little to no volume being moved into Litecoin was a pretty clear indication that there was a move coming. So you can see the sideways trading in between these triangles. So what is to expect for the future? Where could we potentially go within Litecoin? Um, a couple of things, as you guys know, the high-low MMA is a definitely a, a good support and it seems like it is acting quite well holding this coin up the longer we hang out there the more resistance will pull us lower but for the most part it looks like we're going to bounce up healthy the problem now is the fact that we're below our ascending wedge this wedge right here these two lines are a huge benefactor and and key support for Litecoin for a couple of months. And I wanna show you guys what it looks like the coin does when the price is below here. So you can see where we were below here, where we managed to try to break back into it. And we had quite a bit of trouble doing so. But one good thing to take account for is the fact that this was only one time. For the most part, we were trading in between it or above it. So that does give me some hope and some benefit of the doubt that we could potentially see the coin break back inside of here trade on this a little bit and then we could get back into here so i'm not canceling out the fact that this is a still an ascending triangle we may still move back into here as we near closer the having or this could be it we could literally be trading down and we could be finding a new channel at the bottom here i know a lot of you guys were insisting on breaking out and i said yesterday that this is a great buying opportunity at the bottom right here the price has yet to leave here, so my, 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 you know, my statement still counts, at least to me, I still hold value to that. Now, I do want to just jump into the other cryptocurrencies and see what exactly is going on here. You know, it doesn't look bad, I'm going to be honest with you. Just because Litecoin is taking a big hit, does, it doesn't mean this is a bad retracement in the slightest, mainly because as you can see, we do have a pullback and it really did not pull back that far, to be honest with you. The cryptocurrency did not pull back that far and it didn't really do too much, to be honest. Um, if this is it, you know, we are retesting the bottom of the uptrend right here. This may be the bottom. The bottom may be in for cryptocurrency right now. And we could start to see in the next couple of days movement back up to the same exact price we were currently at. So no biggie if we do see that. Uh, you know, the fact that we're literally retracing down to a key level of support on Bitcoin gives me the benefit of the doubt that this is, you know, it's temporary and we're going to see that consolidation back up. Otherwise, if we break bearish from this, the market is going to get hit very hard. If we see Bitcoin, you know, break down through here, it's going to fall down to levels closer to eight, 88 to $9,000, which is uh, quite a drop if you ask me. Now, I do just want to look at Ethereum and then we'll wrap things up with Icon. <clears throat> So this is definitely an interesting play. I was not anticipating this to happen, uh, and we'll see how today closes. So we are, we do know that there is an ascending triangle that is forming right here. We do have this uptrend that has been holding support quite well. You can see in the past where we've had tests of this line. Now this is a very steep uptrend, so it doesn't hold too much value, but there is still, you know, consolidation, and there does still it does still rhyme, and it does still, you know, continue to balance off this play here. So one thing to also take into consideration is where the level of resistance it fell to, and and why I do think this is the bottom. So if I was to draw this out right here and cut it through, you'll notice a couple of things. Not only do we have one, we have two, we have three. And now we have four tests of resistance and support at this line. And the fact that not only are we testing this line at the same time Bitcoin is testing its bottom support you know, for this uptrend gives me some firm belief that we shouldn't see much more retracement lower. Uh, th if this is all that's going to happen, it, it really doesn't look too bad. Just bottoming out, you know, trading at 307 to pull back down to 270. We may see some more consolidation before we head up to the upside. But honestly, these plays do not look that bad at all. You know, I was anticipating some sort of bearish move to happen before we break to the upside. I said yesterday, like when Charlie Lee says that the top could be in, we may not see more movement. I know I've been very bullish on the fact that we were going to continue to consolidate in between this ascending triangle and i understand that but my offer is still there just because we fell out of it uh for short term does not mean we can get back into it because as you've seen in the past sometimes we do break through here but we consolidate right back up inside of it so we may see that consolidation back inside in the short term um lastly to wrap up icon 
icon just consolidating out further, signifying it's you know holding a stronger position with its you know sideways up or sorry sideways support. You can see right here we do have a downtrend that is confirming it, and it looks like it's going to do exactly what it's been doing. Where when it retraces lower, it consolidates down. Retrace lower, consolidate down, retrace lower, it's going to consolidate down. So honestly, Icon is probably going to stay pretty dormant for the next couple of days, if not a week or two. It's probably going to consolidate like this, and then good chance this is you know a possibility. Otherwise, which isn't proven because we are setting all-time lows, we could see that. But um, that's going to wrap up today's episode, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.